Sergio Ramos has just signed back for his boyhood club Sevilla on the 4th of September of this year. Exactly 18 years and 4 days before that he departed Sevilla for Real Madrid. Only one and a half seasons of senior football was enough to convince Los Blancos to dish out 27 million euros for the defender, who was one of the hottest prospects in Europe at the time. Having joined Sevilla's youth teams at the age of 7, Ramos and his transfer to Real Madrid would come to define an age where Sevilla were one of the shrewdest operators in the European game. His last appearance for the club was made on the 28th of August 2005 against Racing Santander at the Ramon Sanchez Pizjuan Stadium, and I thought it would be fun to take a look at where his teammates are now. The goalkeeper that day was Andres Palop, a man who much like Ramos people thought would be nearing the end of his career. He had just moved to Sevilla at the age of 32 after spending most of his career between Valencia's bench and being loaned out. With his new club, he managed to win two Copa del Rey trophies and most importantly, two UEFA Cups. In the 2007 edition, he not only scored an injury time equalizer against Shakhtar Donetsk in the round of 16, but also saved three out of four penalty kicks against Espanyol in the final. After almost 10 years of service for the Andalusian club, he spent one year at Bayer Leverkusen as a backup before retiring. His venture into managing did not prove fruitful, with his only two clubs, Alcoyano and Ibiza, dismissing him. That day, Sevilla played with the back five, and our first defender on the list is Aitor Osio. Sevilla had signed him two years prior after impressing with Athletic Bilbao, and he would stay in Andalusia for two more years after Ramos' departure. In that time, he was the club's vice-captain behind Javi Navarro, and after his spell at Sevilla ended, he returned to Athletic in 2007, where he retired in 2012. Next on the list is David Castedo a player who spent most of his professional career at Sevilla, from 2000 to 2007. The 0506 campaign was one of his best for the club, making 33 appearances and playing every game of their successful UEFA Cup campaign. The emergence of Antonio Puerta and the signing of Ivica Dragutinovic significantly reduced his game time, and after one solitary season at Levante, Castedo retired in 2008. Dani Alves was just as hot of a prospect as Ramos back in 2005, but his big move would have to wait until 2008. Several failed transfers came in the previous years, as well as rumors linking the player with every existing super club. In 2006, it was Liverpool, in 2007, Chelsea, and then finally, in 2008, Barcelona got their man. Alves became one of the best fullbacks of all time in Catalonia and created an iconic partnership with Messi. He won three Champions League titles with the Blaugrana, amongst a host of other titles, at a time when the Spanish league was arguably the best in Europe. In 2016, after Atletico Madrid dumped them out of the Champions League quarterfinals, Dani Alves recorded a video of himself impersonating his wife, consoling himself for the defeat, which can only be described as weird. Barcelona subsequently dropped him for the next game, and he was out at the end of the season. After Barca, he spent a year at Juventus losing the Champions League final, and two more as part of PSG's project of signing as many superstars as possible. In 2019, he moved back to his native Brazil with Sao Paulo, before making a surprise one-year return to Barcelona in 2021. In 2022, he moved to Mexico with UNAM, and in January of this year, the club dropped him after he was arrested for sexually assaulting a woman in a Barcelona nightclub. He is currently awaiting trial and vehemently denying the accusations alongside his army of well-paid lawyers. The last defender that played on that day is still at Sevilla today and will be looking forward to partnering up with his old teammate, namely Jesus Navas. Undoubtedly a club icon, Navas came through the youth ranks of Sevilla and saw teammate after teammate of his leave for European giants, yet he stayed loyal to the Andalusian club. After 10 years in Seville, he decided to finally move away and in 2013 he chose Manchester City. Like many players with such deep ties to a club, his performances never reached the same heights after his move away, and his four-year stay in Manchester could be described as mediocre. In 2017, he returned to Sevilla, with many expecting his swan song years to be close. However, Navas is still playing for the club today, having become their all-time appearance holder. His contribution is more than a symbolic one, with Navas providing the cross that Gianluca Mancini put into his own net to tie this year's Europa League final. The three midfielders that day were Jose Luis Marti, Renato and Antonio Lopez. Marti, who only got his first taste of first team football when he was already 25, spent five years with Sevilla and moved to Mallorca in 2018. Not content with a short career as a first team player, he stuck around with the team until he was 40, when he retired and moved into management. His first job came at Tenerife, where he stayed for three years, 
and since then he has had short and unsuccessful spells managing Deportivo La Coruña, Girona, Leganes and Sporting Gijón. He is currently unemployed. Renato, on the other hand, made his debut when he was only 17 and signed for the Andalusians from Santos in 2004. His time in Seville proved very fruitful, spending seven years with the club before returning to Santos after a brief detour with Botafogo. In his last season in 2018, he held the dual role of both player and director of football at Santos, which you don't see very often. The last of the three-man midfield, Antonio Lopez, played for 11 clubs during his career, mostly minnows, with the exception of Sevilla. He spent three years there, making only 32 appearances and has been retired since 2014. The only goal of the game that ended in a Sevilla win that day was scored by Kepa. And no, I'm not talking about that Kepa. Kepa Blanco Gonzalez had come through Sevilla's academy and the 2005 season was to be his first full season as a first team player. Only 9 goals from 37 games prompted Sevilla to loan him out to West Ham in 2007. A debut goal against Liverpool coming with his first touch of the ball on English soil promised great things, but that would remain the only goal he ever scored in England. West Ham unsurprisingly did not trigger the option to make the move permanent and Kepa subsequently moved to Getafe and from there to Recreativo de Huelva and Guadalajara, retiring at only 30 years old. Kepa's strike partner that day, Frederic Canute, also played for West Ham, but that was before his move to Sevilla. Making his debut in professional football for Lyon, Canute moved to West Ham where he partnered up with Paolo Di Canio under Harry Redknapp. After West Ham were relegated at the end of the 2003 season, he moved to Tottenham, where he found game time hard to come by and was subsequently sold to Sevilla in 2005. Spurs would come to rue this decision as Canute scored in both legs of their tie against Sevilla in the 2007 UEFA Cup. His tally of 89 goals in 209 games for Sevilla showed that despite his laid-back attitude, there was real talent in his boots. With injuries plaguing his last campaign for Sevilla, he decided to spend one more year with Beijing Guan in 2012, earning a nice sum for his retirement. In order to conclude this throwback in a fashionable manner, three more names need to be addressed, namely manager Juan de Ramos and substitutes Enzo Maresca and Javier Saviola. Ramos attained arguably his greatest success as a manager with Sevilla before moving to Tottenham in 2007. Despite signing Luka Modric and insisting on a strict diet which knocked down half of the combined 100 kilograms deemed to be the team's overweight mass, his tenure was disastrous. Real Madrid inexplicably decided to take a chance on Ramos but let him go after a mediocre season. From there, short spells with CSKA Moscow, which was 47 days in total, Dnipro and Malaga followed and he is currently unemployed. Saviola was a loan signing at the time, being employed by Barcelona from 2000 to 2007, when he moved to better rivals Real Madrid. His career never reached the heights people were expecting of him, and after leaving Real Madrid, he embarked on a journeyman career that took him to Benfica, Malaga, Olympiacos, Hellas Verona and back to his boyhood club River Plate. He is currently Barcelona's under-19 assistant manager. Enzo Maresca also moved into management, after having an equally colorful career. From 2017, he worked as an assistant at Ascoli, Sevilla and West Ham, and after completing courses at Manchester City, he was Pep's assistant last season. This season, he is the head coach of Leicester and will be looking to take the Foxes back into the Premier League. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you liked the video, consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you next time.